Hi there Homestead, it's Elizabeth from Community and today we're going to go a little further into the e-commerce options for Website Builder and we're going to talk about how to add and edit products. Now this is obviously the, one of the first things you'll want to do when you set up your stores at what you're going to be selling. So once you're logged into Website Builder, go ahead and click on store on that left panel and click manage products and orders. Now when you first create the store, you're going to see this screen. It says welcome to your store and it'll give you the option to add your first product. So click that and at this point you can choose whether you want to sell a physical product or services like classes, car detailing. For this purpose I'm going to choose physical product because the services have the same options as physical product. Um, physical product just has more to it. So if you know how to do a physical product you're going to be able to do a service just fine. So I'm going to click physical product and click next. You're going to give it a product name, a price, and a description. You can edit this later, so don't be too worried about what you put here. You're not stuck with that. And then go ahead and click next. At this point, you can upload an image. You can either use our stock images or images that you've already uploaded or you can upload an image. So for this purpose, I'm just going to use a stock image and click Next. Yay, your product has been created. It's a great start. You can see what you put for the product and then you can click All Set. Now you'll be able to go to Products to add more. You'll also find products on this left menu if you ever need to go to that from something other than the home screen. So at this point, you have a couple of options. If you want to edit the product you've already put, you just need to click on that product. You can set a shipping charge. You can set whether you want the product to be visible right now. For example, if you have a seasonal product that you sell or you're out of stock or it's just for some reason you're not offering a product right now, but you know that you're going to offer it in the future, Instead of deleting the product and having to recreate it when you do decide to sell it again, you can click to have it not be visible on the store. That way it's still in your list of products, but people won't see it on the published site. You can add more images if you want to show different angles or variants of this product. Um, and then under the advanced settings, you have quite a few options. You can set it to be taxable and shippable. You can set it to track the stock meaning you can set if you have five of one product so that when customers purchase five of those, it'll no longer show that product is available so that people aren't purchasing something that you don't have anymore. Um, this is also really useful because it shows customers when you're on a really low stock of a product, that way they know they can't purchase multiple items because you only have one. Um, you can set the weight. This will help with shipping purposes. Um, if you set categories, for example, if you're selling clothes, you can set categories like men's clothing, women's clothing, children's clothing, stuff like that. And so if you've set up some categories, you can choose what category this specific product fits under. Um, if you're using SKUs and you have a personalized SKU you want to give this product, you can enter that there. And then you have two options, discount and banner. So the discount is if you have something that's going on sale, you can choose to put a percentage that you'll have it discounted, 5%, 20%, whatever you choose. And so on the product, it's going to show the original price and it's going to show the discounted price. And it's going to show up as sort of a banner at the top of that product in the store. Otherwise, if you just want to let people know that something's on sale or something's new or, you know, hot items, something like that, you can put a banner like that on the product. And then once you're done setting all those options, you have one more thing that you can do with each product, and that is to add variants. Now, variants are really useful. They do save you a ton of time, um, because if you're selling a product like a t-shirt, you're not just going to have one t-shirt usually. Usually you have different sizes. You'll have small, medium, and large. You'll have different colors, black, white, red. So if you didn't have variants, 
you would have to create a product for a small black t-shirt, a medium black t-shirt, and a large black t-shirt. And that is just a lot of work that you don't want to have to do when you're trying to set up your product. So instead, you can create one product for t-shirts. And then if you go over to variants, you can add a variant for color, size. Um, there's a bunch of different options. And they have some preset options here. So you can easily choose color and then choose which colors you want to use. Or you can choose shirt size and it'll already have those pre-selected. It's just another way to save you time. And if these aren't the only options you have, you can add more to the pre-selected. So it's really up to you what you want to do here. You have full control. We just have these options to try to save you time. So once you've got that, click Save. And then you'll have those variants. So if a large t-shirt costs you more than a small t-shirt to make, you can make those adjustments from here. So for example, say the small t-shirt cost $1 to make, and a medium t-shirt cost you 20 cents more than that, 40 cents more for the large, 60 more for the extra large, and 80 more cents for the double XL. You can add the additional charge, not the full price here, but just how much extra it cost you from the cheapest option. And our system will automatically total that up to give the actual price for that size. So when customers go to your store and go to the t-shirt product and select a different size, it'll show them the accurate price for what you want them to pay. Another option from here is you can enable stock for each variant. So for example, if you only have five small t-shirts, um, three medium, two, and one, and then you currently have no double XL, you can set those so that each variant for the product is tracked. So when they go to the store and they select their specific variant, they're going to see the stock that you have left if you're getting low or if you're out. Um, and you can add more than one variant to a product, like color and size, and then people can choose what they want to buy from that product screen. Um, another option that you have for products you can import a bulk list of products. And you can do this from Equid, um, you can do this from Excel, Google Sheets, or a CSV file. Um, it has to be in this sort of template. And you have to have categories or a header for the information, like product name, price, stuff like that, so that our system knows where to put the information you're uploading. If you don't have it under specific headers or categories to let our system know which information is the product name, which information is the price, it's not going to work. But if you do have it organized properly, you can import bulk lists of products using these methods. So that is another way that it will save you a ton of time if you happen to have your products already listed like that. Or you can just add a single product. And then you get to choose whether it's a physical product or a digital product. You again can add the name, the price, a description, shipping charge, and add the image. And all of the same options, you know, obviously you can add different ones here. And then once you're done, You want to click Save and Publish. So once you've got your products created, you can go back to the editor and you can see them on your store. So when they go into the store, they're going to see the products as they would show up with the banner, with the discount, the product name, the discounted price. And so when they click on a product and they click on the variants, It'll change if there are none available for a certain variant. And if there's just absolutely nothing available in that variant, it'll have this 
white line through it to indicate that there's nothing there. Um, additionally, let's say you click on this and you click on the options and there's only one item left in stock, it'll let them know. That way they know that they can't purchase two of them. So it's very useful um, in preventing customers from purchasing something that you don't have. So definitely recommend taking the time to set up the stock options in your store. It's a little bit tedious going through the numbers, I understand, but it is worth it in the end. So that's how you add and edit products in your store and how they show up. So on the next video, we'll be talking more about the digital download options for those products, so stay tuned for that.